Hi everyone, Stay here, and welcome to a quick showcase of some of the 200 mods that are used to enhance Minecraft with a vanilla plus modded feel. So if you're tired of playing normal Minecraft, but you don't want to play an overly modded version, this might be for you. Let's start with 3D skin layers, a simple mod that connects the outside layers of your skin to the inside ones, creating a little bit more of a 3D effect. Advancement plaques, a small mod changing the overlay for when you get an advancement. Auditory continued. Add small sounds to everyday tasks. Axiom, an absolute must have tool for builders, making it easy to make big terrain real fast, change your speed of flight, and also replacing blocks. Better advancements, increases the size of the advancement screen and makes it feel less cluttered. Better third person, gives you two new fully customizable camera angles that gives you very, very cinematic looks. I love this one personally. Bobby. This mod takes the chunks from your server and puts them on your own computer. So when the render distance on the server is low, you can still play on high render distance because all the chunks are on your own PC. Chat heads. Adds the face of a person's skin next to their chat so you know exactly who's talking on SMP. Continuity. Adds connected textures just like Optifine. Crops love rain. Makes crops grow faster when it rains. Customizable elytra. Gives you the ability to dye your elytra in any color. Deep Slate Instamine changes the speed of mining of Deep Slate to instant when you have a netherite pickaxe with efficiency 5 and a haste 2 beacon. Eating animations. I don't think this one needs an explanation. Enchant icons. Adds a collar and a little icon next to your enchantment so you know exactly what item to put them on. Farmer's Delight Refabricated. Adds a whole bunch of new recipes that you can use to make beautiful dishes as well as some really nice cupboards, a stove and some pots. First person model. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain this one either, do I? Flashback. An amazing content creation tool used to make beautiful cinematics, just like this one. Freecam. This mod adds a camera that you can fly around with to, for example, record some cinematics or make some really nice screenshots. Fresh animations. This mod adds a whole bunch of new animations to sheep, cows, every single mob you can imagine. Fresh moves. That's the same, but then for the player. Friends and foes. You know that mob vote that nobody is a fan of? Well, with this mod, you can add every single mob that has ever been voted out. Horse buff. Horses can pretty much swim now. Iris. Allows you to add shaders and makes your world go from this to this. Master Cutter. Adds a whole bunch of extra recipes that can be made with the stone cutter, especially wood recipes. MC Paint. Adds a painting station to your world that you can use to make reproducible paintings. More mob variants. Gives a couple of mobs some variants, like zombies, chickens, and cows. Nifty Cards. Adds five different variations of cards that can carry items or even animals. Overlays. Adds overlapping edges where blocks meet. Right click harvest. Allows you to right click with a hoe to automatically replant all your crops. Shulkers Plus. A mod that lets you color your shulkers while they're placed down and also add items on top so you can categorize them for what you want to put in them. Simple Grass Flowers. It adds these little flowers. That's all it does. Simple voice chat. Adds a proximity chat to the game that you can use to communicate with your friends. Sodium. The mod that almost single-handedly makes it possible to run 200 mods at the same time. Sound physics remastered. Fully overhauls the sound system, even adding echoes in caves, making the game way more immersive. Also one of my absolute favorites. Stack refill. Fills your hand with a full new stack from your inventory if you have run out in your hotbar. Terralith adds new structures, but most importantly, beautiful terrain with all vanilla blocks. Traveler's Backpacks adds a plethora of backpacks. First of all, fixing Minecraft's inventory problem, and second of all, also having some pretty cool features in some of them. It goes in your trinket slot from the trinket mod, and it has a beautiful UI. And you can even carry some water with you. Visuality adds small particle effect animations to ores, as well as armor, and even some mobs. Zero's World Map. It does exactly what you think it does. It adds a beautiful, beautiful map that you can see everything on. And that was all of the most important mods. If you want to see me play this mod bag, go watch the Vapor SMP series. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, don't forget to stay considerate. See ya!